This is Digihiti Temple, Ashe, Sha Sha. <laughs> and do another root. This video, I'm going to talk about three different topics, 304. The first one's going to be about the crow. I mean, that's just phrase there. The first one, yeah, it's about the crow, but it's about the Medu Neto, the Medu Netcha, the first letter of the Medu Netcha. The first letter of the Medu Netcha. It's A or Ak, or these, they call it the hawk vulture. It's not a hawk vulture, it's a crow. First of all, the beak is pointy and long. There's no eagles or no falcons with no long or pointy beaks. Like this beak that's on my on my staff. My commander staff. That's a crow. That's a crow. Oh, I mean, I give you other things. Other samples. I mean, even though this is supposed to be her taru, but no, if not, that would be the krill. Even though that's my, most likely her taru. And that, that's like a quail, so. I don't know, like a quail, so you know what I mean? Yeah, so. So, so back to my staff again. Yeah. That's supposed to be the, um, no, it's a crow. Ah. Supposed to be the Ak. That's where Akanak got his name from. The great black one. Ak. Ak. That's why they made, you know I me mean, every every committing, you know I mean, committing letter that, you know I mean, the animal represents, it represents the, you know I mean, the sound that it makes. Like a cobra, like a cobra. You know I mean, you know, you know, the fearless, the fearless viper. That's the sound the viper makes. You know I mean, or out. You know I mean, and he gave the F to the viper. So that's F for the viper. And you got the owl. You got mm, ooh, 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 ooh. So they get the owl, U, U, M, and W. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those are the letters for the owl. Ooh. Now back to the A, which is the crow. It's ock, ock, ock. And the crows make exactly that name. Ock, 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 That's where ock and Notton got his name from. All commit no me commit letters commit letters represent animals represent the perfection sound of they made that they made. I don't know why people want to change it up because the the falcon looks like this and that you want to get the falcon and everything. No. The first letter is A Ock and it's from the crow. I just want to get out there. Oh yeah, I'm not done with the crow yet. And and comparing the crow to the falcon, the crow's like the smartest bird on the planet. Smarter than a falcon. And it doesn't need to really leave, live off other organisms to live. It can just leave, live off peanuts, corn, vegetables, and nuts. So, so I prefer the crow over the falcon, even though the crow's fast and all that. But the falcon, but the, I mean, even though the falcon's fast and all that, but the crow's more smarter. So it's more intelligent. So give me the crow. The op, crow's still around. He, and he rolling packs and he's smart. Some rolling alone. They got loners too. But yeah, so just give me the crow. So now I, talk, now I said about that. The second one is, let me see, it's Capita. We're going to talk about Capita. Now, the reason why I choose Capita, Capita, the beetle, the sacred beetle, the strongest creature on the planet that can hold his own weight, can lift beyond his own weight, the strongest creature on the planet that can lift six times over his weight. Yeah. And it's a vegan, and it's bothered by nothing that tries to attack it. That capital beetle. Yeah, you know what I mean? It, it resembles rebirth and all, but it resembles more than that. The strongest, toughest creature on the planet. Stronger than a falcon. Stronger than an elephant. If the all the capital was the same size as all, it would be stronger than all of them. Every single one of them. The capital beetle. And... What's the third topic? Yeah, so, so you know, I mean, I, I talked a little, little bit about Akhenaten, you know, I mean, where he got his name from. Yeah, you know, what I mean, yeah, oh yeah, oh, and of course he's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite uh, pharaohs. Pretty much my main favorite pharaoh. I did a, um, re I did a um, report on him in the college. So yeah, he's my favorite pharaoh because he's the one that did a choose to just to follow the path of his parents. He chooses, you know what I mean, to follow the paths of righteousness, of netaru, of the nature. What he sees fit, what he learned from life period, and what he sees and experience. That's why I like Akhenaten. But, you know what I mean, yeah. 
You know, he's just an ancestor to me. Nothing, you know, I mean, nothing more, you know, a great ancestor as they did in the teacher. You know what I mean? I always be myself and strive to be the better and better and learn from them. Okay, so we talked about Akhenaten. and I talked about the A, the first A, the correction for all people trying to say it's a hawk or vote or whatever. No, it's a crow. It's a crow. It's the only animal that says Ak, like the, like the viper. They gave viper the F H, the F, the F, and they gave the, you know what I mean, the A G Cobra, the Digi, the Digi, the Digi, DJ. You know what I mean? Them letters for the Cobra. And they gave the I, the U, M, and the W. Ooh, ooh, so yeah. So I just want to get those straight in and those facts. Get those facts right out of the box. People, a lot of people say, yo, the A is it's the hawk and all the note. It's the crow. It's the hawk. The great black one. The great dark one. Okay. That was supposed to be the name of Heru, too, or something like that. But we can we get into that another story. You know what I mean? Another time. And I know one is supposed to be astrology. I like my, I like everything balanced. And my topic's supposed to be balanced. You know what I'm saying? You know? Balance, balance. So, um, I'm gonna talk about Osahu, Orion's belt. Osahu, Orion's belt. The Osahu. Okay, people. Them things are not up there for decoration. For some people, people like me, and y'all know who I'm talking to and know who I'm talking about. You need to pay more attention to them constellations. <laughs> Great things are happening there. And I ain't talking about this natural phenomena things. There's things that has conscious that's happening there. You know what I mean? Great things. On Osahu. <laughs> Also, Pleiades and all the constellations. There's knowledge everywhere. <laughs> There's Tahiti temples, Dijahiti temples everywhere. Okay? Every sun out there is like a Tijahiti temple. There's so much to learn from. Yeah. So, keep your concentration on, on that. You know what I mean? On more than, you do, more than you do with the TV. Keep your eyes on it. Keep watching on it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They say that's where the stars are birthed at. It's also where the souls are birthed at. Those two to get reborn at. So, yes. It's this new just with the Dijahiti temple always coming with the truth and the, and the I want to say revelation, but I want to say that. And the revealing. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. I shade. Sha, sha. Do another rue. Peace. See you next time.